it's been quite a while since we've done a mail room. And it's always just sort of a, a pleasant amazement when things show up, ranging from books and carpenter pencils to, you know, honest to goodness, support. You know, occasionally we get dollars and thank you for that. Um, sort of the biggest and flashiest and most beautiful thing that's come has been this Makita cordless 40 volt, 40 volt? Yeah, 40 volt worm drive saw. And I am going to put that thing to work on the sh shop that I'm building for Ben and Amanda. Once the framing starts, I didn't want to get it out and get it in the dirt when I'm, you know, forming the monolithic slab. We're kind of kind of save that in semi pristine condition until we're up out of the mud a little bit. But I'll let you know what I think right off the bat. It's about the right weight. It's a weight forward kind of a drop saw configuration, which I mean, that makes it doable for a guy that's used to a mag 77. So we are going to put that thing through its paces and see what the trade off is between not having a cord tangling up and not having a cord for raising and lowering a saw. We'll give you our, our uh, hip shot analysis of that when we get towards the end of that shop. But there have been other really neat things. There are always neat things. There's been a couple of books. There have been three books, actually. There's been a book that came from Ryan. I talked to Ryan, he's back in Boston. I'm, Kelly and I are gonna meet him there when we go back to visit with the Northern Maine Community College in October. But I had a conversation with him about a construction question he had, and then he sent me a book, The Thunderbolt Kid. It's in the house, it's next to the, it's on my nightstand, I'm reading it, and it's funny. Thank you, Ryan. I received a gift here from Chase Hamblin, a book for my grandchildren. A Tree for Peter. I haven't read this to any of them yet, but they come by once or twice a week, and so I'll just let you know, Chase, that my grandkids are gonna be hearing about this. I think you said that your grandmother read it to you, so thank you for that. Elements of Building, where that is in the house also. That came to us from Mr. Kearson. Where is that letter? Yeah with some support. Thank you, Mark. He's the author of The Elements of Building. I've not do dove into that yet, but I want to tell you that we're going to sign you up for the Essential Craftsman Academy as a supporter of the channel. Thank you very much. As far as hard, you know, hardware items, Christoph in Greece sent us Hultaforce solution to carpenter pencils. Look at that. It's a mechanical carpenter's pencil where the lead and the pencil is shielded in that, in that plastic holder and it'll come out like a, carpenter, like a mechanical pencil and you can stop and you can put it there and we'll see that may be better suited for Nate and his projects than mine. We'll see, but that is an innovative solution. And he also sent us a two meter metric tape. You know, this is an interesting thing to me. It's gonna be hard to put it to work, but I show, so appreciate the things that come to us from Greece. Those Christmas trees, by the way, are going nonstop 24 seven, 12 months out of the year, my wife just loves them, so thanks for that. Cards, we have a fellow who's part of the Essential Craftsman Academy. Jeff, thanks for the stickers. We'll put that United States Coast Guard Naval Engineering sticker on the orange cabinet, and it's nice to be able to talk to you a couple times a month as a resource for you know shipyard engineering and naval engineering questions. There's just no limit to the things that we're learning in this group. I like it very much. Steve Ellis, my my friend through the channel who has taken construction carpenter math just as far as you can take it. He sent me a model here of calculating the back angle on hip roofs and he's just got the coolest things in here. We may put that in the B-roll towards the end of the video, but the guy really understands how to apply mathematics to carpenter work. Thanks, Steve. We have cards, a fellow who has a PhD in soils who is studying at the University of Mary Washington appreciates that we at least know a little bit about the intricacies of soil, which is the amazing thing on the surface of the earth, right? So thank you for that, Barrett. Another book that was sent to me with support in it. Thank you very much, Rob. He says, I appreciate what you do more than you may ever know. Please keep up the good work. And The Specialist is a book from a long time ago about a carpenter who decided to specialize in building outhouses. And I've read this and I chuckled all the way through it. And it lives appropriately on the tank of the toilet on the main floor of the house. And I will tell you that this book by Chick Sale 
<laughs> it's more than amusing. It's downright funny. So thank you, Rob, for this. I didn't know this thing existed. So the next thing is pretty unique. I mean, it's really unique. This came to me from Karsten Rorson, and uh, he is advocating that I think carefully about a new type of back exercise that's put out by, we'll put a link to this. He sent, this guy got YouTube videos. They're all in German, so at least the ones I found. But the idea is, and I'm sure he's right, that part of the back pain that I, that I experience and perhaps that you experience is because the fascia, the sheath that holds the muscles in our core and up and down our back and in our legs and everywhere else shortens and sort of gets hard and less flexible as you get older. And so he's got this interesting assortment of hard plastic shapes and a series of exercises. You can put this under your back and under your hips and different heights and roll around on it and it acts as to kind of roll and break and stretch the fascia on the muscles that have been shortened. You know, in the give and take between extension and contraction in our bodies, the fascia sort of, they tell me, messes that up and it manifests in muscle pain and joint pain and yep, I've had it and uh, I've been giving this a bit of a shot. I'm not very disciplined about these things, but I'm trying to incorporate it with my morning exercises and maybe, just maybe, it'll keep me working a little longer. So thanks, Karsten. So we heard from Mike Martinet, Martinet, who's a teacher on the East Coast, gonna be out on the West Coast, a nice gesture of real support in there, Mike. That'll, that's gonna connect you with the Essential Craftsman Academy. We just like to have something even a token gesture to give back to those of you who go out of your way to help us. So the cards and the letters and the communications and the suggestions and the stickers are all and always welcome. We continue to be grateful for the way that you encourage us because sometimes we do need encouragement and it's always a pleasure to receive it. Thanks for watching Essential Craftsman and keep up the good work. <laughs>